I do many UFC impressions. Now, some of you that haven't watched my live streams before may not know just how many I do. But if you have watched my videos before, maybe you've heard them slip out now and again during like a press conference reaction video. Or in a random video here and there, I may find an excuse to do some of these impressions. I've got all of them in today's video, ready to show you. And uh, I'm going to list them in order of accuracy on the screen. I'm going to start with Michael. B There's going to be so many of these guys. Okay, I'm going to try and do this all in one take. So they may not be as accurate as they could be if I was fresh going into each one of them. But I'm going to just go through all of the impressions. Okay, and I'm going to line them up on screen. I'm going to start with Michael Bisping, I guess. There's a lot. There is a lot of impressions. I guess we'll start with Michael Bisping. And, and it's not the most accurate one, but it puts a good gruff in my voice to get the rest of them started. So. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, mate. Oh, fuck. Rebecca! Ask Michael Bisping to start things off. Oh, my word! Baby boy! Rebecca! I'm trying to remember every little thing that they say during this. A lot of times I do these impressions. I don't really do them based on accuracy. But um, I'm going to just try and have fun with some of the lines they've said, you know. Classic Bisping on commentary. Baby boy! He's landing his punches. He's finding a way to use his hand to land on the face of his opponent. He's punching him straight in the face. He lists three different things that are the same thing and says them different ways. I guess this is something his speech coach told him to do at one point in his career. I'm not sure. But, you know, it starts with that. Ha <laughs> ha! Rebecca! Callum! That's just starting it off, getting a bit of gruff in the voice. We move on to Conor McGregor. Now, of course, there's many versions of McGregor. Ha <laughs> ha! 60 Gs, baby! Ha <laughs> ha! That's early McGregor. You know what I mean? And then there's the new McGregor. Stand your base! Fucking stand your base, mate! Eddie, tasty shots, Eddie! Roy hand, up a cut, Roy hand, down the pipe! Stand your base, mate! You know? Then there's McGregor in Roadhouse. Hey, fellas! Looks like everyone's having a smashing noi! Another bit of McGregor there, you know? And then there's McGregor on a voice note as well. And let me tell you one more thing. Yeah? Shut your mouth, me. A bit me, yeah? He goes, sometimes he'll, he'll get loud and aggressive and you're my born's victim of a thing, yeah? And then he'll go, and let me tell you one more thing. Very intimately afterwards. But the new McGregor that we've got is the... Stand your base! Roy hand, upako, tasty shirt, Eddie! That's the new McGregor that we've got. Okay, we also have... Tom Aspinall. People love my Tom Aspinall impression, okay? I don't mean to toot my own horn here. But you know what? I don't want to be some kind of hype train from the UK, but I've got a pretty nasty Tom Aspinall impression, you know. Some lines that he's done. Hello, John. I'm not nothing personal. I just know I can beat you in a fight. That's him on the mic. And then regular Tom Aspinall is, as I said before. I don't want to be some kind of hype train from the UK. I'm trying to take this thing nice and slow, nice and steady. I'm not in any rush to get to the top. I've beat 10 guys in the top five. I don't know if that's something he said before, but that's Tom Aspinall right there, you know? I think that's near dead on. I don't want to be some kind of hype train from the UK, but hey, hello, John. I know I can beat you in a fight. Classic Tom Aspinall there. I don't know how long to spend on each of these, but some I'm going to spend more time on than others because I'm somewhat better at doing them, Okay. What else does Tom Aspinall even say regularly? What's up, Ariel? How's it going? I could, I swear to God, I could fill in as, to, fill in as Tom Aspinall on like an interview if it wasn't done with video. Either way, we move on. Good old Jake Hadley. Now, this voice may ruin my potential of doing other impressions this video. Should have maybe saved him for the end. I want to be a UFC fighter. That's Jake Hadley right there. Makayev, he wants to fight with me. So let's fight in the cage. I don't know what you want to fight in the, in the backstage. We're going to get in trouble. And Makayev, he doesn't want to fight in the cage. He don't want to fight with me. Because I want to be a UFC fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and the way you get Jake, get Jake Hadley is to go Kermit the Frog. And then you dial it back a bit and give him a slight brummy twang. Is what you do with Jake Hadley. 
you know, start a fight with me. So, uh, Dana, I'm sorry for missing weight. You know, I just wanted to be a UFC fighter. <laughs> That's Jay Gadley right there. And then for Tom Aspinall, you just give him that Northern Midlands. Hello there. Uh, don't want to be some kind of hype train. I, I have other lines, but it's hard to come up with on the spot like this, going back to back to back. But he's a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Sergey Spivak, amazing fighter. Something Tom Aspinall does is name a terrible, awful heavyweight and then just label them an amazing fighter because he's such a humble guy. Sergey Pavlovich, this isn't an, an awful heavyweight though. Marcin Tybura, he's a great fighter. I'd love to fight him. Sergey Spivak, amazing fighter. I'd love to fight him. What a great guy. Absolutely stand-up guy. Curtis Blades. And then McGregor, of course. You know how to do the McGregor. And Bisping's just fucking all over the place. Isn't he? We'll, go, we'll move on, though, because I, might, I may be here for an hour otherwise. We got Mark Goddard. My good friend, MMA guru. Hey, oi! And then, <laughs> very quickly, you have to get angry with Mark Goddard. It doesn't work otherwise. You know, I was talking to my good friend, MMA guru. Try and act like you're deaf and mentally disabled. <laughs> and you have special needs. All in one, okay? Yeah, you know, I heard from my good friend, MMA guru. Hey, it's over! It's over! No! It's over! Angry Mark Goddard. When he's just stopped a fight, he knows he shouldn't have. <laughs> That's the classic. I'm the referee here. Of course I know the rules, you fucking moron. Hey! My good friend, MMA guru. That's what Mark Goddard sounds like. Hey, it's over. It, no, it's over. Screaming in someone's face, full blast. You know, Mark Goddard, how he gets down, screaming in someone's face. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to make some room because there's more impressions to go through here. And I'm probably going to chuckle more as the video goes on. <laughs> Paddy Pimlet's picture. I forgot I used this picture of Paddy Pimlet. Lad, men need to start talking, lad. That's Paddy Pimlet in a post-fight speech. Always got something to say that's nice and wholesome. Hey, lad. Hey. Men need to start talking, lad. A little bit of a in there as well. And then there's regular Paddy, which, which is goals of our saying, lad. Mate, I was fucking stuffing me face, lad, with five burgers, lad. Molly. Molly came to the fucking gym, lad. Hey, let me tell you about Luke Riley, lad. Fucking animal, lad. He's amazing, lad. Absolute respect for Tony, lad. Whatever he wants to do moving forward, lad, he's still got it, lad. Everyone seems to say Ferguson's still got it after they've just beaten his old ass. Okay, classic. Hey, lad, men need to start talking, lad. Hey, hey, where's all them fucking doubters, lad? And then there was after the Paddy, uh, the Jared Gordon fight where he's a little bit hesitant in the voice. Hey, fight it and eight. Dana, fight it and eight or what? Hey, a lot of people overdo the... <laughs> Because they're trying to get the scouts. He don't really do it that much. But when he goes deeper. Lad, I was fucking battering him, lad. But people try and overdo the flemminess on Paddy Pimlet. Goes about saying, lad. That's just how a playing footy manager, lad. With a fucking poly one, mate. You know how it goes, lad. Goes about saying, lad. That's Paddy Pimlet there. Fuck area, lad. He's a fucking wame. That's clap wame. A fucking wame, lad. Anyway. Bobby Green I only did this because it's not very good, but it's in accordance with Paddy Pimlet. Damn, Paddy. Holy shit. Come on, Paddy. And then he does the Nina thing as well. Come on, Nina. I can't shoot my shot. Come on. He kind of sounds like that, right? This isn't as accurate as the others, but it's just in accordance with Pimlet, so I thought I'd bring him in. Come on, Paddy. Holy shit. I was just taking a piss. Holy shit, Paddy. He kind of has that voice in a weird way, Bobby Green. It's very strange that he has that voice. And it's harder to do Americans. As you'll notice, a lot of these are from the UK. There's a lot of personalities in MMA from the UK, it seems. Um, come on, you know, just trying to shoot my shot. Holy shit. Come on, Paddy. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, Bobby, you're right there, lad. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you got to roll the R's a bit, right? A little bit, not R, but right i can't get it now yeah bobby you're right there lad it's kind of a mini roll of the r very interesting darren till now remember paddy pimlet's very lad it goes without saying lad that's how it goes lad sometimes that's how it goes lad and then darren till was a bit higher pitched of a, of a scouser so he's more of a 
This is uh, Darren Till in our recent uh, Twitter spaces. What? Who said that? Wait, wait, say that again, Guru. Remember the R's, Guru. What? Who said that? Wait, hang on a second here, lad. Ian Gary, see me and you, Guru, we're the same guy, lad. We're the same guy. If I, if I wasn't an MMA fighter, I'd be like you, Guru. Back me up here, Guru. Come on, lad. Little bit off there at the end. I fucking torn me ACL, mate, again, lad. <laughs> yeah, me ACL. Um, no excuses, lad. Obviously, I'm not a guard to make excuses, lad. But um, me ACL's fucking fucked again, lad. <laughs> Every time. Problems with the ACL. I, we've spoken in person. It's cool. But yeah, this isn't even my fucking house, lad. What? Who said that? Come here then, guru. Come on, lad. That's a bit of Darren Till for you. How many minutes are we in here? How far? Oh my God, we're already 10 minutes in. All right, we need to um, we need to speed up a little bit. Huh? Uh, John Ennick. I'll get to it. You can't really say his name that way because he doesn't do that. UFC Fight Pass. Classic John Ennick voice right there. Andre, you are currently fighting a custody battle tonight. Welcome back to UFC 306. Sponsored by the official tires of the UFC, Toyo Tires, tonight. A little bit like that. Ha <laughs> ha! That's John Anik's laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! We are coming to you live from UFC Abu Dhabi, featuring Magomed Sharipov versus something like that, is, is what John Anik would do. Stipe Miocic versus John Jones, tonight, is what he does. Classic bit of John Anik. I'm trying to think of a... A good uh, main event. Oh. UFC 300 from the floor here on commentary tonight. We got Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill. Little bit of John Anik here, okay? It's hard to get the accent shift and the impression on top. I hope you'll understand. Um, Sean Strickland. Now, Sean Strickland has many modes, okay? I can only really get the aggressive Sean Strickland, which is when he stands up at a press conference and screams, for you fucking guys, dude! I'm gonna go to war for you fucking guys! And then in reality, he jabs and teeped his way to a decision, but it's all good. We forgive him because he gives good press conferences, and that's what Sean Strickland's career is all about. For you fucking guys, dude! And I'm gonna go to war for you guys! Everything's for us, guys, okay? Here's a fucking thing, dude. Hey, are you are you gay or 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 why, dude? Here's a fucking thing, you guys. Here's a thing, you guys. He always goes into his thing. No man that beats off the cartoons is gonna beat me. Oh my god, an alarm is going off. That shows how bad my sleep schedule's been recently. For you guys, dude. For you fucking guys. Anyway, dude. Here's a fucking thing, you guys. Classic Sean Strickland move. Classic. Always screams it. There's some conversational Sean Strickland. I'm not as good at that. I can try. What else would Sean Strickland say? Anyway, you gonna fucking drag off his fucking dog, you guys. Anyway, dude, I don't wanna fucking get off topic here, guys. Anyway, dude, who's got a fucking question from you guys? Come on. Very South Park character-esque, honestly, on Sean Strickland, the way he rambles about things. Interesting stuff. We got Nate Diaz. Certain things I have a cue to, like, get me into the mode. And for Nate, it's, <laughs> hold up, <laughs> come on, like, this guy's talking shit, you know, like, <laughs> come on. What, what else does Nate Diaz even say? <laughs> hold up, this guy ain't no fucking gangster, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's very Mike Tyson-ish, but a little bit more weight behind what he's saying, in a way. Tyson's very... Very toxic. Everyone's talking to me. It's very uh, bitch and pathetic, kind of, in the way that he speaks. Jesus, going to upset some people here. Uh, but Nate Diaz is very, hold up. Nobody fucking knows what that is anyway. Nate can only count to five, ten, you know? So I was there talking shit and fun. Well, you, you, you stupid man. You know my people see you, right? Ha! <laughs> hold up. A very good hold up on Nate. Then it kind of trails off. Because Nate sometimes is very... Uh, in the voice, he's very gravelly. It's hard to do. Especially after I've just gone through this list. But uh, either way, that's a bit of Nate Diaz. You know? You know, 
Told me go in there, him with some good shit, leave with a pocket full of cash. <laughs> Little laugh at the end. Nick Diaz is more, he sounds nothing like Nate. He's a bit more, you know, go in there, fight Robbie, you know, like, that's my fucking brother, you know, like, they come, they come back, fight Robbie, you know, get a win. How you, how you know that, you know? Very, uh, there's a load up to when Nick Diaz speaks as well. It's very, Anyway, you know, like, UFC called me, you know, like, rang me up, said, you know, come back, fight Robbie, and, you know, get in there, you know, see what happens, you know, like, very, very similar to that is what Nick Diaz is like. We move on. I think I have a pretty underrated Jan Blahovic impression. You know, legendary Polish power, you know, and this is, you know, not so easy fight, you know, because um, I left legendary Polish power in the hotel, you know. It's very in the roles of the R's. You know is a big part of his vocabulary. It's not so easy fight, you know, because uh, left legendary Polish cardio in the hotel, you know. And, uh, you know, I thank him for a fight. And Glover, a very good fight, you know, because um, it's very tough, you know. He gets very passionate all of a sudden, you know. A very good fight for me because a uh, lot of respect for Glover, but... Uh, He's very tough, you know, it's a good fight, you know, because um, legendary Polish power left in the hotel, you know. Very decent Jan Blachowicz. And then Yuri's very similar, but not. You have to have mastery, you know. How you say, um, it was not a storm, but... Uh, now, what does he say? You know, I talk a lot in build-up of mastery, because... Um, uh, how you say, I want to have perfect storm, you know, and, uh, it was not perfect, but it was a storm! That's how Yuri goes a lot of the time. <laughs> Very autistic is Yuri Praska. We move on to another impression, which is, I'm nervously ticking my way through this. Alexander Volkanovsky, aye, that's it, you know, you put it in here, you get a stupid little bow, put it on there, it's done, Hey, leave it in there, how you doing, little cooking Volk uh, situation there, Volk at a press conference, a little different, Hey, that's it, you know, I've been working on specifics, you know, I've been doing training and stand up and ground game with Craig Jones and all that type of stuff, he always loves to chuck in and all that type of stuff when there's nothing else to say, and all that type of stuff, hey, and uh, that's it. When I see him in there, he's done. You don't deserve to be here. Hey, I graft me fucking ass off to be here. And then there's Volk when he's a bit more casual. And he's, uh, back at a fucking curia. <laughs> and, uh, he's talking about his daughters and stuff. You know, she said, uh, you know, what if someone comes through the window? And I said, hey, don't worry, darling. Uh, I'm, I'm a champion. You know, I'll defend you. If anyone comes through the window, I got him. And then she looked at me and she said, what if he's Islam Makashev? Little bit of Volk there, not too shabby. We go down the line, who's next on the impressions? Mixed Molly Whoppery. Now, a lot of people don't know I used to voice Mixed Molly Whoppery. I don't know if anyone's noticed that um, Mixed Molly Whoppery, the voice has kind of changed recently, but I used to do the voice for Mixed Molly Whoppery back in the day. Back when it was a time when Robert the Reaper Whitaker wasn't even in the top fucking five. <laughs> and Robert the Reaper Whitaker went through a fucking murderer's row of the middleweight division. At a time when Yoel Romero and Jacare fucking Souza weren't even in the top fucking five. Very good Molly Whoppery, I think. I could honestly, yeah, take over his job, I reckon. Rose Namajunas wasn't even 18 years old. And Pat Barry swooped in and... Uh, we'll move on from that impression, I think. Um, <laughs> Robert the Reaper Whitaker wasn't even in the top fucking five and went through a fucking murderous row of the middleweight division at a time when Yoel Romero wasn't even in the top fucking five. <laughs> a little bit of mixed Molly Whoppery. There's some other names included here, guys. We got some uh, YouTube channels mixed in, some... Non-MMA fighters mixed in. Some personalities around the sport. Man, I'm so happy, man. This Anderson Silver, of course. Big fight, big talk, you know. And, um, 
Chao Sun, very tough fight, you know, man. Very happy to be here, and man, thank you, Dana. Thank you, UFC. I'm voice cracking now because I've just done Molly Whopper in the top fucking five. At a time when Robert Daripa Whitaker went through a fucking murderous row of the middleweight division. At a time, sorry. <laughs> at a time. Molly Whopper in his at a time. He loves it. Man, I'm so happy, man. And Chael Shannon, amazing fighter. But, you know, I train hard, man. Very hard for fight. I don't understand you, man. Will you come to my family barbecue, man? Very, very Anderson Silver-esque. And we move on. Jack Della Madalena. I don't have a bad one. Don't have a bad one. I'm plucking some of these out at random now. Um, so someone will ask, So Jack Della Madalena, what do you think about the fight coming up this weekend? To Give us a detailed breakdown on how you see yourself matching up against Randy Brown. That's a bit of a better John Anik than I did when I plucked him out. And then Anik would, uh, JDM would respond something like, yeah, you know, um, just go sort of go out there and get the win. <laughs> no information given, no detail given, JDM straight to the point, okay? You know, just go out there, get the cash and dash, you know, like, it was a close fight, but, uh, you know, I came to get the win, you know? And I just landed the perfect shot. You know, I went out there with not really much of a game plan, but uh, I landed when I needed to. You know, I'll just sort of go out there and be on my merry way. A little bit of JDM there, simple stuff, you know. Maybe I could block the nose and make it a bit more accurate, but it's all good. And there's Matt Serra. Oh, God, here goes the whole voice. I'll just jump into Matt Serra. Wait a fucking go, Whiteman! Punch a fucking hole in his chest, Marab! Oh, way to go, Marab! Very high pitch. I can't really do the lesser than screaming, Matt Sarah, but Matt Sarah is very often screaming. Way to fucking go, Whiteman! Very often screaming. All right, buddy, there's a safer fight on the next block. That's the only other line I remember from Matt Sarah, but that one's not as accurate. Way to fucking go, Marab! I can't do Sarah too much, or I won't be able to do the rest of the impressions. Have I done Yol Romero next? Smart move. Smart move by me there. Because otherwise, I ain't never getting back. Okay? You know, I'm making club. Hey, see you soon, boy. Little, little bit of Yoel Romero going on. The people, the people pay. <laughs> pay per view. Why? Why? Why you not Jesus people? Don't forget Jesus. You know, I'm making clap. I'm clapping off camera. I don't know if you guys can hear that picking up on the mic. See you soon, boy. Michael Bisping. This is original Romero when he first started cracking out the English. See you soon, boy. We're moving on from them two. They are the voice destroyers of the impression world, I would say. We move on to another impression here. Who I got? Who I got? Arnold Allen. Okay, an easy one to sort of come back to. Not the best, but... Um, yeah, you know, uh, it was a good fight, Ariel. You know, um, went out there and got the win, you know? It was a good fight, you know? Um, yeah. Always cracks out one of those. Like a depressed... <laughs> anxious exertion of energy which goes along that line of yeah you know um trying to for us and uh yeah it was a good fight you know um yeah a bit of butter um i think michael bisping had a sandwich or something uh yeah pacer you know pacer's gym you know yeah he's like, unsure of everything he's saying it's a quite a tendency that arnold allen has um yeah you know uh just uh, wasn't good enough, you know, uh, wasn't my night, you know, uh, hats off to him, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm just going to kill myself, <laughs> I don't know what to do with Arnold Allen, there you go, um, Alexander Rakic, a little bit of a different switch up from Arnold, Arnold Allen, I am the new dog in the yard, and I belong to the top, uh, you, you know, not a real samurai, but I belong to the top, 
He sounds like his fight style should be entirely opposite of what it actually is. Okay, very threatening sounding man. And that's the one line I remember from him after the Manawa fight. I am the new dog in the yard, and I belong to the top. That was a big one from Rakic after he beat Manoa. One of the lines that I remember from him. It's hard to remember the lines as well as do the impressions here, guys, but I'm trying. Um, Joe Rogan. Okay. <laughs> unbelievable. It's not the best. It's how he says unbelievable, though. <laughs> unbelievable. Who does that? A marauder. I mean, it's almost bizarre. Unbelievable. What else does he say? Got, guys got base, like taking a baseball bat to a carcass. Made out of mahogany. Who does that? Who's better? People forget, man. People forget, man. Benson Henderson, man. <laughs> it's not even an impression anymore, but he always does that. People forget, man. Benson Henderson. Pedro Hizzo. Who kicks harder than that guy? Unbelievable. The unbelievable is the only accurate bit about it, though. It's all good. We move on. Wow. So, you know, 942, I think I did have to fight for the title. But what, what are you, an Arab? <laughs> ah! Sorry, I always do a bit of a crazy Leon Edwards where... I like to imagine that after he lost his belt, he's been locked in his room, becoming morbidly obese, watching Mario Rios videos and uh, telling his mum to get out of his room. Leon, I brought you some chicken from this door. We, we cook up a jambalaya for you, Leon. We worried about you, Leon. <laughs> Don't open the door. Don't look at me. <laughs> Close the door. I don't want to be seen by anyone. Slide the pizza under the door, mum. But a bit more of an accurate Leon is. Remember the name? Ah, well. Yeah, it's great. He's a good fighter, so hopefully I'll get the fight, you know? But I'm a hammer. Remember the name? That's nine fights in a row, so I'll be able to fight you. He had an interaction with Darren Till once. Can't remember. Well, you do not. Never talked to my life. Never talked to my life. Ah, well, so never talked to my life. Mate, I'll punch a hole in your chest. Mm, come on, mate. you got to worry about Gunner because he's going to fucking tap you out. Ah, never talked to my life. What a fucking weird voice Leon has when you really think about it. That, well, my impression isn't far off. I used to be able to do a more accurate one, but now I've done the crazy one so much, I can't find it again. But yeah. Remember the name. So, yeah, hopefully I get the fight, you know. Yeah, but it was a, it was a good fighter, so. Yeah, so a lot of respect for him, so. Hopefully you get the fight down the line. A lot about fighting is all Edward seems to talk about. Ah. That's his laugh. <laughs> and also Moicano. Let's go, Dana White. And let me tell you something. Fuck Macron. Fuck Dana White. And go watch the Show Me The Money podcast, motherfuckers. Because you have to read a book, motherfuckers. And let me tell you something. I'm big fan of the Constitution. Big fan of the First Amendment, motherfuckers. And you got to go to your country to go to shit, brother. Very broken after he goes on for too long. And let me tell you something. He's always got something to tell us. Um, what else does he say? You have to read the book, The Seven Rules for Financial Freedom from Ludwig van Schlurem, Brebrentian. And let me tell you something, my brother. This guy, brother. Let's go to NOH. I want the fucking bonus. I cannot afford to lose. Very good from Hinata Moicano. Tough guy, big guy, not get the win against him. Chael Sonnen. Now, I do have an impression of Chael, but only really as he's talking to Vandalay Silva. So I think Vandalay is next here as well, if I've prepared this accordingly. Yes, he is. Am I on the screen with this? That's where it ends with Chael. Okay. I'll keep that noted. Um, What well, now? One no, one no. You have to stop. Vanderlei, Van you have to stop. Vanderlei, I can't let you get close. <laughs> and other than that, I don't really have much else, Chael. I definitely can't do it after all of these other impressions. Just talk to my shoe, lady. I can't do it. I have to do it fresh. I can't get it after all this. You have to stop. Vanderlei, you have to stop. 
What no? What no? There you go. Um, Derek Lewis. I don't have a bad Derek Lewis. Um, difficult to switch weight races with impressions. You'll notice a lot of times the impressionists, they do a lot of, um, same, like, you know, uh, Michael J. Fox. I think his name's, it's not, it's not his fucking name, is it? Michael J. Fox. Michael B. Jordan? No. Jamie Fox. Jesus Christ. That might be the fucking most racist thing I've ever done. <laughs> He's Michael J. Whatever. Uh, Michael Jordan. What the fuck? I, I mixed up like 10 black people in one there. Um, Jamie Foxx does all of the black people, you know. So I'll try a bit of Derek Lewis. Sounds a bit like Cleveland Brown's son. Off of the Cleveland Brown show. So bear with me. Donald Trump called me. Make me look bad on the news. Told me no go to rock that rush, rush a motherfucker out, man. USA in this hole. Donald Trump called me. Told me go not that be that rough motherfucker. Oh, I can't even speak. Donald Trump called me. Told me go beat that Russian motherfucker's ass, making him look bad on the news. For that USA in this hole. That's a bit of Derek Lewis. And then his battle cry is... Eww! That's his battle... Weirdly, that's his battle cry. No, not intimidating at all. Eww! Donald Trump called me, making him look bad on the news. Little bit of Cleveland Brown Jr. in there, and then Eugene Behrman. Um, you've got a chance... To win, but you lost. And you've got a fucking job as reporters to watch what you're fucking posting about. He gets very angry with journalists for no reason. Big part of Eugene Behrman's game, but that's another part of his game there. But, um, is he? He's got a good mind for the game. But Pereira's a chad, you know. I've met left it there, but there you go, UG uh, Bearman. Jesus, what am I doing? Paulo Costa, noises, noises. Hard to do a bit of Paulo Costa, but I've got some noises that sound a bit like Paulo Costa's making the noises. You ask Paulo Costa a question at a press conference, and he buys himself time to think about the sentence in English. And when he does this, he goes, ah. Well, why you not have wife? Ah, well, why you don't have wife? You you crazy guy? Why you not have wife? The gourmet chicken? Ah, well, little bit of Paulo Costa there. Why you not have wife? <laughs> You're not real, man. You're just a fake guy talking. Keep talking, buddy. Little bit of Dominic Cruz. You got to know where to go. You got to talk to me. Keep talking, bud. Because all this stems from is from your insecurity as a child, from when your mom used to beat up on your dad, right? All the way around. When your dad used to beat up your mom, right? And what he used to do afterwards? Look for you in your bedroom while you hid in a closet, buddy. And that's what this comes down to, man. You're not the tough guy. You've never been the man of the house. And I'm going to be, I'm going to treat you like a bitch in the octagon, buddy. Always got some really deep analysis of the other person's family life. That he's somehow, he's like the three-eyed raven, is Dominic Cruz, about some of these guys' family upbringings. Never the big guy in school, huh? Always get him picked on, eh, buddy? Now let me tell you this, man. I've got rich off of beating your opponents, and I'm going to beat your ass in the octagon. I'm going to beat you like your dad did. Dominic Cruz had really bad, really savage trash talk way back when, okay? He'd make Strickland cry for sure. That's a fucking trash talk battle I'd love to see. Because he genuinely would probably get Strickland in tears. Always the tough guy, right, buddy? Keep talking. That's all you do is talk, huh, right, buddy? Either way. Um, Francis Ngannou. Now, this is racist. <laughs> I want to say they are, you know, the, and the baddest man on the planet. Not bad. Not bad for Francis Ngannou. I want to... <laughs> His laugh is like that, okay? I know it sounds like something different, but that is how he laughs. I want to tell you the, the baddest man on the planet. Of course, you know, but I'm the baddest man on the planet. Very Francis Ngannou-esque. We move on. <laughs> Casey O'Neill. Now, I don't know if anyone's ever heard her voice before, but she does sound like this. You don't know how hard it was to be a UFC fighter. <laughs> I'm losing my mind out here. 
<laughs> She's Scottish born, Australian raised, I'm pretty sure. Nuts accent. Absolutely nuts. You don't know how hard it is to be a fight. <laughs> I'm losing every fight. I can't win a fight anymore. That's how she sounds. I'm not even exaggerating that. You don't know. Um, <laughs> that's how he laughs, isn't it? That's how Cyril Garn laughs. <laughs> anyway, you know, Ariel, I go this way, but... No, no, I don't know this, but um, big fight, you know, tough tone, you know, I go, shoo, shoo. I'm not ducking anyone, you know, but I look to the top, to the title, you know. <laughs> there you go, that's Cyril Gunn. <laughs> anyway, I don't have a good GSP, I don't know why I put him in here. When I tell you Joe Rogan, I'm not going to lose. Very simple, GSP. I don't have the... Um, are you intoxicated, man? I don't really have a good GSP. That's one of the weak... But I know he's mainly what a lot of impressionists do, so I thought I'd include him in here. But uh, when I tell you Joe Rogan, I'm not going to lose. Simple podcast, bis, uh, not bisping, GSP. But are you intoxicated or something? I can't do a good GSP. I feel uh, rejuvenated, intoxicated. There's a cadence to the way he speaks. I'm not going to lose. Come on, man. You're crazy, man. I think it's actually maybe a more accurate GSP, but I can't do the funny GSP that people do, which is, then I please. You know, someone goes really high pitch for him. He's not that high pitch. I'm not impressed by your performance. Max Holloway. Not the best. Um, hey, the crowd can't fight, fight for you, hey. Hey, eat it up. Eat up the heat, brother. The crowd can't fight for you. I'm bringing the heat. I am the heat, brother. I am the heat. We're going to find out Saturday night, baby. Brother. Very weird way of saying brother. Brother. No drama. There's no fight. Mm, Saturday night, baby. October 26th. We're going to find out. The freshman came to play, baby. I am the heat, brother. I am the heat. These are getting less accurate as time goes on, but I don't think it's that bad. This is not even close, but fuck him. Uh, <laughs> I'm the new dog in the yard. Botched. Yeah, 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 as I said. You don't know my story. I don't care about your story. I'll get to DDP maybe in a bit. <laughs> and I fight for my family. But that's all I fight for, for you guys at home. And, and Ash, and Ash, he always mentions Ash for some, that was uh, another thing from Ash. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm the new dog in the yard, and I just pissed all over this cage, botched. Bedtime MMA does trust, I started that with the botched thing, I'm not copying his little word at the end. Trust, botched, because he, he's a, I'm gonna make him look like the new Ricky Martin, botched. Um, but whatever, I'm gonna leave him with a stitch, like Lilo, botched. I can't find his chin, but I'll find it, like Nemo, botched. And when I get in that cage, I'm gonna wreck it, like Ralph, botched. I'll leave him frozen, like Elsa. <laughs> All these different one-liners that he comes up with. There you go. That's a bit of Israel to sound you there. Have I got anything else on this? No, okay, we're gonna move on to the miscellaneous, I guess you could call it. <laughs> Sorry for the jump scare. Um, Bilal Muhammad, the why, you know, like, these guys want to talk shit about me as a fighter, but, like, these guys want to fight, you know, like, I'm actually fucking winning fights, like, I'm the best in this fucking division, so, you know, I'm gonna have to fucking, like, bow down for fucking Bilal Muhammad, you know, I'm from Chicago, you know, but, like, randomly in the middle of my career, I started supporting Palestine when they were at war, you know, like, could be, you know, like, fucking, these guys are fucking cooking me, you know, that's Bilal fucking glazing Habib and Makashev because it's the only chance at a fan base. <sighs> Bit of Dan Hooker, I guess. Um, I'm your man, friend, whenever you want to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your man, friend, whenever you want to go. What else does he say? It do stand up, hey, let's go, Volky. Come on, friend, whenever you want to go. 
Ha <laughs> ha! That's his new laugh. You know, tough times don't last, dude. Dan Uka does. <laughs> don't know what happened to his laugh. It happened about the same time that he got tattoos. Don't know what's going on with Dan Hooker half the time. I'm your man, friend, whenever you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he says yes if someone's re- asking him a question. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, tough times don't last. Dan Hooker does. Hey. I wanted it pink. Hey. I wanted my hair pink. <laughs> Unbelievable, Dan Hooker. Hey, tough times don't last, Dan Hooker does. Hey, yo, yo, yo. I'm your man, friend. Let's go. Go. <laughs> These are the voices in my head every day. World champ. John Jones. A new addition to his mumbles. I have a wife. Always mentions that he has a wife. Um... This guy's never going to cheat on his wife, you guys. Or maybe he has, and he's, like, serially cheated on his wife throughout the years, and that's why he's got this guilty conscience to always mention that he hasn't cheated on her. A bit of Steve Miocic. You'd hate to have him in a situation where he had to guide you out of a smoke-filled room as a fireman. I'm burning alive in here! <laughs> I'm burning to death, please direct me out of this room, I can't see. You're probably dead already. <laughs> There's no chance he's guiding you out from behind that door. At the end of the day, I just want to be a world champion, and at the end of the day, I just want to have a good wife. And at the end of the day, there's one of these people that talk a lot of shit about me with the two you have to do his lip to do the impression. Chee-wee-wee! At the end of the day, I mean, a lot of people, they want to talk shit about me, but I'm, I'm just doing my career, you know, taking tough fights, and at the end of the day, they're going to give me the fight, and I'm going to fight. A bit of Raul Rosas Jr., who's this? Oh, this is Paul Craig and Jamal Hill. Um, You got nasty ass breath, man. I got nasty ass hands, too. Little bit of Jamal Hill, Paul Craig. You got nasty ass breath, man. Just swapping about like a wet fush. Paul Craig, when he's heavy on the Scottish accent. I've got a great time to fight Shogun, but it's a tough fight for me, so. Ish. I can do a better Scottish in general accent, but Paul Craig's is very flopping about like a wet fush. You know? You've got nasty ass breath, man. I got nasty ass hands, too. Wow, this is a big fucking block. The Weasel. Yo, what's up, you guys? It's the Weasel here. And today, you guys, we're going to be talking about uh, Marab was a genius, you guys. You see the way he was kneeing the fire, you guys? Holy shit, you guys. I mean, come on, you guys. Holy shit. What's up, guys? It's the Weasel here. And today, guys, we're going to be breaking down Marab's knee to the fire, you guys. Remember that? (laughs) Classic Weasel move. Is Marcus you have the best boxer in the UFC, you guys? Takedown threats don't mean anything, you guys. And I'm just going to find another way to k- fucking... K- k- I, I'm a fucking Dagestani cum pig, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to say about a weasel. Well, I like the weasel, but... I don't know. He has an, yeah, an angle on the takes so that the rest of us on here on MMA YouTube just don't have. Okay? Very corporate angle. But it's good. You need both sides of the coin. Yo, what's up, you guys? It's the weasel here. And today, you guys, we're going to be talking... Oh, he was, a f- he was wobbled, you guys. Kamari Usman was wobbled by Jim AF, you guys. Either way. Oh, speaking of which. Brother, you tell you. I can't really do the Dagestani ones. You know, Bedtime MMA has a better Dagestani ones than me by far. Um, this guy talks so much, brother, but they don't fucking smash him, brother. Like, go there, take a face, smash, destroy him, brother. Like, they don't want to talk very much, but... I just want to go there, fight, you know, like, get big win, brother, smash for Kadyrov, brother. <laughs> Kadyrov going to kill me if I don't smash, brother, the very big pressure on me. <laughs> Either way, Makashev and Habib. I don't do good ones. Send location, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. Not the best ones. Uh, uh, what does he even say? Hey, DC, hey! This guy talk, DZ, hey, 
Come here, Dizzy, you want to talk? Let's talk. Some shit like that. And this is number one in Ireland, 6 million. Russia, 150 million. Let's go with your chicken, brother. And then Makashev is more... Um, what would Makashev even say? Maybe somebody got this wrong, brother, but you let him come to Dagestan, leave him two weeks, two years, forget, brother. Two years? I can't do a DC. Two years? What are you talking about, Makashev? Six months, one, you get to ring one time. Maybe somebody have mistake. Maybe somebody is wrong. I sleepy, I eat. I want to fight with Brock Lesnar next. Little bit of an interesting one. I don't have the best of Dagestani impressions. Lucas Tracy. He's back. But are you back, junkie? You're not back, dude. We know it. But you're somewhat back. You know? Can't go live. Don't want to answer no questions about why you're really gone. Hey, buddy, we're on to you. Oh, yeah! yeah. Big Mitty Hooks. Hey, he's a crafty vet. Went to Peaches of Creepville. Hey, Big Mitty Hooks. Oh, yeah! Yeah! He's a crafty vet. Big Mitty Hooks. One of Peaches of Creepville. <laughs> Lucas Tracy. He was missed for a week or two. Then he came back. Why with a hat? Why with a hat? Is that a new thing that we're just never going to get an explanation for? Why no live streams? You're making the recap video. You've watched the whole card. Why aren't we live so we can question why you really left? Don't want to push it, though. It's all good. I'm just asking the questions that the MMA community want answers to. Why have you come back with a hat and you're just not streaming after saying you'd never come back? It's interesting. And this is pegging. And this is something I love to do. I want to take women and peg their, <laughs> their bum. I don't know what way she's oriented, but I just know she's into a bit of pegging. Um... And this is easy fight for me, but I understand other fight, you know. Ah, uh, what's this one? Ah, uh, DDP. I don't have a good DDP, but it's all right. His conversational stuff look like an NBA player. Very weird conversationally. I don't have it down, but I do have press conferences. Not bad. What was he saying? I heard I was the underdog in this fight, right? Somebody said I was the underdog. Nobody said anything about dogs, bro. Chill out. Not far off. I know it doesn't sound like him, but in that moment, that was kind of how he was sounding. Nobody said anything about dogs, bro. Chill out. What else did he say at that press conference? You don't know my story. As he's crying. <laughs> you don't know my story. You'll never know my story. Nobody knows my story. I don't care about your story. Nobody said anything about dogs, bro. Chill out. And then we got Brandon Moreno. Oh, God. How do I even get to... Man. I'm the magician, man. No, that's Marlon Marais. What level of high pitch is Moreno? I should have done all of the high pitch ones together. Man, maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But I promise you, man. I'm going to be a world champion. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow, but I promise you, man, I'm going to be a world champion, man. That's more like it, right? I'm going to play with Legos, man. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I promise you, man, I'm going to be a world champion, man. And he did it. Fair play to him. Um, Taito Ivasa. Ash, I, bra, FTI, bra, from the area, bra, Western Sydney, stand up, bra. I'm here, I'm here. Hey, relax, relax, I'm here. H-I, F-T-I, bruh. It is what it is, bruh. Hey, so, hey, let's go, is it? 148 hey, JM, I'm a 14 veteran, boss. Put with some lads in the hood. <laughs> Ariel Hawane, not accurate at all. <laughs> what, officer? Are you just digging a tunnel? <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Ah, uh, shouldn't have fucking went there with a joke. It just slipped out, but you know. <laughs> uh, come on, you guys. I mean, come on. What the heck? Here with special guest Francis and Ganu. Come on. Really? Come on, you guys. 
<laughs> Fuck, why did I make the joke at the start? I didn't even mean to do that, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, back in your life. The MMA hour back in your life. Ba, 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 ba. Ian Gary's not even too accurate, but you're all talking about me. Every single one is <laughs> through his tears. Crying at a press conference. Every single one of you, you're all talking about me. Every one of you is talking about me. Layla, please let me back in the house. I beg of you. I'm dead. It's fucking raining out here. Come on, Layla. Every one of you is talking about me. Sit down, shut up, and think about what you're doing. Because never is there ever a time... Where putting your hands on your son is acceptable. So think about what you're doing and sit down and shoot up. We move on. Dana White. Right at the punchline. Brutal. Good old Dana. Um, what is there about Dana? What? Who said that? Darren Till said that? Oh, come on, you guys. I, I don't know you guys. So, uh, Dana, what do you think about the... Uh, you were caught on video recently, Dana, smearing yourself in poo at a local barnyard. Uh, anything to say about this uh, disprovable, uh, sorry, non-disprovable uh, CCTV footage, Dana? What? what? Wait, I, sorry, guys, I can't hear you. What, what, what did she say? Undisprovable? I was smearing myself in poo? Oh, come on, you guys. C come on. The fights have just happened, you guys. <laughs> you guys are suspiciously not hearing anyone when it's really incriminating stuff that's being said. I don't have a good Masvidal, but it's here. McDonald's has some great American values. You gotta have a really good f soccer punch and a really good 50-yard dash. Uh, what else did he used to say? Because um, it's how he used to sound a lot of the time. Violence. I like to hurt people, man. McDonald's has some great American values. Really good sucker punch. Really good 50-yard dash. Colby Covington. Future of the welterweight division. I used to like Masvidal's voice when he was on Genghis Khan films. Was the best Masvidal. Now, yeah, binga, binga. He goes a lot more on the beautiful violence. You know me, man. That's how I get down. Hey, everybody. I want to say something to people in Georgia because... This is uh, crazy, everybody. I do the training and I work the grappling with Aljo. And I want to make sure, uh, just in case I don't wake up, I set another alarm. But everybody say, um, I not prepare for a fight. But I tell you, Brad, it is not true because I hit the pads. I work to the shop. I running. I training. I do the cardio every day. I don't. I do the grappling. I do the punching, and sometimes the elbows and the kicks and the knees. And I do the training. And everybody say, "Why you not?" Uh, because the training is because I fucking shut up, you cunt. And then there's a few other impressions that I do. They're not going to... These aren't the most accurate ones I've ever done in it because it's hard to do them all back to back to back. I've, I've revolutionized the doing impressions on YouTube game where I show my fucking face cam as I do it and do it in one take, buddy. <laughs> Wait, I didn't include bedtime? Oh, I should have put him at the end. Um, but I don't really have an impression of him, but... What it do? Bedtime crew. Hey, man, listen. An impression off is required. You ain't got the roster I got, buddy. You ain't got the... The flawless roster. Okay? Near. Near. Hold up. Huh? Guy talking shit. <laughs> Ain't no fucking... You know, talk shit. You know, like... Hold up. You ain't got the roster I got, pal. Okay? You ain't got this roster. You chill out, buddy. Um. Okay, a few fun ones at the end, I guess. What have I even written down here? Oh, there's bedtime crew. That's why he wasn't in the video. Um, God, do I even do all these? I just wrote... I had, We did a stream a while ago where people just list in ones that I do on stream. 
So I'll chuck if you had Chandler's kids and Chandler. You know, sometimes kids, uh, it's you just got to pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And, uh, you know, it's really the learning that we do as we fail. Hey, man, shut your mouth, man. We ain't trying to listen to that shit right now, you damn pussy bitch, man. That's Chandler's kids and Chandler at home. Um, come on, kids. I mean, sometimes it's the journey that makes us who we are, right? Shut your bitch ass up, man. We ain't trying to listen to you right now, man. You damn crack. <laughs> Give it 10 years. That'll be accurate. Um, Bryce Mitchell is just, that's what the government told you. Hey, that's what the government told Fuck it, do dark, and so I'm at the end of the tunnel. She feeling up under me. Man, I want something more. Yes, she loving me, holding me, hugging me. Man, I want something more. That's what the government told you. Hey, he lost like Sheldon Cooper. And that's just what it did. Hey, in the Bible. And I was looking in the Bible, and it says something about the firmament, which is a dome over the top of the earth. And let me tell you this. That's what the government have, you think. <laughs> the Tory is... I tell you, it's not my fucking fault. These guys want to talk shit. I fucking shut up. I shut up, motherfucker. How is that even a question? How is that even a question? Question, question. <laughs> That's a classic Vittori moment. You tried to ignore me, bitch. And that's why I fucking shut up. Schizoing out at the Adesanya press conference. Underrated one. Um, Steve Ishii, unfortunately, the fight didn't go the way I thought, but I'm just happy to get the win for you. So, Steve Ishii, yeah, get a good win and hopefully move on towards your titles. Uh, nothing like him. Ronda Cleans! Cleans, Ronda Cleans! This Edmund Tarverdian, who's Ronda's coach. No, 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 Ronda. <laughs> Head move, mate. Cleans, cleans, Ronda, cleans. <laughs> Schmitty, how could we not? He made this whole video massive. Uh, I fucking stood up to you and put my fucking finger in his face and told them and I made the press conference massive and not one of you thought, where's Schmitty? I texted, I, I texted you, I loved you. I sent you a Snapchat, and you ignored it, and you were still posting stories about you at the after party, and you just lost your belt, and not for one second did you think, where's Schmitty? I love you. Anshul Jablin is just Indian. Why don't you know, sir? Why did you redeem it, sir? No, no, sir. Why did you redeem it, sir? You missed up unimaginably, sir, you fucking retard. Why did you redeem it, sir? Nothing like him. Just racist, I guess. Nate the Train. Clarksville, stand up. Nate the Train in the UFC. And I'll be damned if I ain't handsome. I got, look at that bicep. Look at that damn bicep. What was another thing Nate did? They say lamb wear. It is Nate lamb wear. They say lamb wear. I say on the face. We need Nate the train back, man. What the fuck happened to Nate the train? Mariah's. Man, they call me the magician, man, because, um, you know, I'm, I show you a magic trick, man. I make my chin disappear, man. Uh, Tatsura. Hey, happy thank you. I'm not happy thank you. <laughs> I depressed, thank you. I just lost. Brian Ortega. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. So I was talking to Tracy and I was wearing a white tee and in my muscle car and going to the store to get my white tee and, you know, get the suspensions checked on my Moto Corolla, you know. Whatever else makes me sound Mexican, I guess. I got kids, I don't know their name, but uh, playing Fortnite at 33, I'm glad you asked. So the eagle... Anyway, where was I? I had to answer the door, I'm back. I think I was mid-ramble as Brian Ortega. Well in, lad, it's me, lad, Molly, lad, how's it going, lad? Get on the ale paddy and walk. That's Molly McCann, really loud, screechy, banshee-level scouser. 
Um, but then again, I haven't really listened to a Molly McCann interview. So maybe she's a little different sound. I've only ever heard of Molly McCann poking her head into a Patty Pimlet vlog. So I don't really know the true Molly McCann, but... What's up, lads? How's it going, lads? On the ale, Paddy and what? Uh, bedtime crew have already done it. And then some random ones I've got here. I don't know how many of them I should do. But I just... People just spammed these in my chat the other day. Telling me to include these. So, I, I have a few in it. KSI is just... Ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen. I am the Nightmare KSI. And ladies and gentlemen. That's a bit of KSI. And then Mike Tyson's... Well, sometimes God's going to make you a powerful fighter, but the devil's going to rape you in your ass. And he says, like, the most basic things. And then people act like he's a genius for saying it. You know, sometimes you got to put in work to get what you want in life, you know? Sometimes, sometimes it's really tough. Oh, my God, Mike. You're a fucking genius. This guy's a philosopher. You know, sometimes, who are we? Who, who the fuck are we to tell God? I mean, who the fuck did he think he is? Alexander the Great. I mean, who the fuck did he think he was? Man, this guy's a philosopher, man. The way this guy talks, he's a genius. Holy shit. And then there's uh, Kermit, which is just Jake Hadley, you know. You want to start a fight with me? With my career? I want to be a UFC fighter. That's a downgraded Kermit. And there's, hey guys, my name's Kermit the Frog. And um, I'm here with Miss Piggy and uh, Kermit the Frog. I don't know what the fuck Kermit the Frog says, but I remember a family guy skit where he did something along the lines of, hey man, you know the way to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. That's the only thing I remember about Kermit the Frog. Wings of Redemption is in here. Look here. Look, listen. Turn it off. Don't fucking stop it. I tried, man. I really tried. I just can't take this shit no more. <laughs> Look here. Look, listen. Classic wings. Uh, Gollum. God, why am I including these ones? Should I even? I've got to, right? Um, Gollum is another. I have way more impressions than these in it, but these are just ones that maybe people will know. I don't know why I put wings in there. <laughs> people are spamming wings, I guess. Gollum is a. Uh, found their fish and Joseph fish. So Joseph Smith. Ellen. Ellen. Smith girl. Smith girl. Her master is our friend. Oh, my voice is fucked. Not master. Master is our friend. Super fat hermits. I can't, I'm not going to do the drink in it. I will do. God. Remote first. We're no curls and find the first. So to so sweet. Crip Mac. <laughs> no one's gonna know who these people are. This shit ain't left on fifth. Fifth to fifth street. Oh, cut it. Fuck cut in. I don't know cut That's a bit of Crip Mac, I guess. Mm, custom. That shit ain't never on fifth. And then Attenborough is... Here we have an indigenous MMA girl. Truly a master of his craft. Impressionist by day. Retard by night. Truly miraculous. And serendipitous in its nature. A carnivorous tool. For Mother Nature herself. Truly a disastrous plan. For we are in a time where that is such. Um, thank you. There's the uh, David Attenborough impression there. <laughs> what am I doing? Stewie from Family Guy. I got a Stewie impression, I guess. Brian! The fat man made it funny. Which is maybe what people will be saying during this video about me. I'll sh see that in the comments, maybe. Brian! Oh, oh ha ha! Lois! 
The fat man made it funny. Brian. Uh, Jordan Peterson. Women want to be fucked by vampires. And I might just cry because I'm on TRT and roids. I don't know why he cries. And I think I'm going to cry. Women want to be fucked by werewolves. Uh, Jon Snow. Bastard from the north. The wildlings have come, descended upon our walls. If we don't win this war, there'll be no kingdom left to rule. Aye, I'm Jon Snow, bastard from the north. Ned Stark was my father. That's, that's all I got for Jon Snow, innit? I could go longer with these other ones. Uh, you know, the friend, you know, uh, and I used to have it, kids uh, sitting on my lap, and... Uh, I loved when kids sat on my lap, and we were out by the pool, and it was all sunny, and my leg here is a strawberry blonde, and curl up in the sun, and, and the kids used to go underneath the water, and, and stroke my hairy legs, and, and I'm a pedophile, obviously, how the fuck was I ever elected, it's all good, <laughs> South Park Jimmy, you, come on you guys, fast pass, move fast. That's a little line from uh, The Stick of Truth, if anyone's played it. Come on, you guys. The fast pass goes f -f fast. You guys... It, it, it motherfuckers, you know? <laughs> Carmen's interesting. Where? Screw you guys. I'm going home. That's all. Uh, what did you say? Oh, I'm sorry. What I said was... How would you like to suck my balls? <laughs> Mr. Garrison. What did you say? How would you like to set my bars? <laughs> Eric P. Cartman. <laughs> I love fucking Cartman, dude. I don't, I'm not in a Pat Barry way, but Cartman's favorite characters of all time. How would you like to set my bars? And then Trump, I don't have a good Trump, but it's popular, isn't it? Darren Elkins, what a retard this guy is. What a loser. What a dweeb. <laughs> Darren Elkins. Darren Elkins, what a retard this guy is. What a dweeb. What a dog. I walked in. I said, wow, this guy's retarded. Holy shit. He doesn't swear, does he? But yeah. What a retard. Darren Elkins, what a retard this guy is. And then we got Mort Goldman. Ariel? Oh, uh, no, Ariel. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, God, dude. I'm going to get cooked. They're the one group you can't joke about on YouTube. <laughs> Muriel? Oh, God. Oh, oh, Peter. Oh, my. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get robbed today. And how can I help you four fine black gentlemen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, He's come back. We gotta save Jay Leno. <laughs> Muriel. I accidentally said Ariel. I can't believe that. And then the Joker is Heath Ledger. Um, my father was a drinker and a fiend. And you know what he used to say to me? Why so serious? He put a blade in my mouth and made me smile a little more. Some shit like that, right? That's how the joke is he fled you once. My father was a drinker. And then Batman is just... Uh, I swear to God, man. Swear to me! I love Batman, dude. Batman Joker. That's another few impressions. I, I could have done loads more of these, but I wanted to include some fun ones at the end, in it? Because while I'm doing them, I'll get them all out of there. I'm not wearing hockey pants. Here. Where are you? Here. Dude, those three Batman films might be some of the best. But there you go. How much time did that take at the end to include these ones? Another 10 minutes, not too bad. Here. Swear to me! But what I do, it defines me. Great films. You complete me. I need you. No, no. Anyway, see you later. Thank you for watching. Toodle Pip. Could have done better impressions. They could be done better if I took them all on one by one, but I have fun with them in it.
You know what I mean? Maybe I should start listening and actually practicing the impressions more because I really just do them and hear it once and then try and do the voices. Maybe I'd have a bit of a, a job in voice acting if I could actually just sit down without ADHD for a second and just listen to the voices and actually try and get them. Because the Leon Edwards one, I can get it, but I just don't want to listen to him speak. <laughs> you know? See you later, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Toodle pip. Goodbye. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. See ya. Goodbye. There's way more. But I had to... I actually had enough to fit up another row or two. But I didn't want to be here all day. See you later, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye. Fuck, I want to end it with something, innit? Which impression should I end it on? Hey, men, start talking, lad. And remember, lad, at the end of the video, lad, men need to start talking, lad. Come on, lad. Sick and tired of it, lad. You fucking worm. You mad worm, lad. It goes without saying, mate. You fucking worm. These voices are in my head all day, so now they're out in the world. Feels good to get it off my brain. <laughs>